please be sure to subscribe to the channel to update the fastest and most accurate news. Hello everyone, welcome back to my Royal Life News Channel, the story for today is Meghan Markle will enjoy her first Mother's Day with two children this Sunday as the parenting celebration is marked across the pond. It was announced on Friday that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, who have been enjoying life as a family of four at their $14 million California mansion, are now likely to travel for the first time to the UK with children Archie, 3, and Lilibet, 11 months, for the Platinum Jubilee next month. Despite choosing to spend Mother's Day in the US privately last year, Harry and Meghan made a public donation to charitable organization Harvest Home and are likely to want to do something just as special to mark this year's parenting milestone. Last year, Mother's Day in the US took place less than a month before the couple welcomed second child Lilibet Diana Mountbatten-Windsor on June 4, 2021. The couple took to the Archwell website at the time to recognize the work of Los Angeles-based homeless charity Harvest Home, donating a year's worth of diapers and cleaning supplies. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex are now poised to have a busy summer with their visit to the UK to mark the Queen's 70 years on the throne with celebrations beginning on June 2nd. The couple could still appear on the Buckingham Palace balcony during the Platinum Jubilee celebrations, despite the Queen sensationally imposing a ban. A dramatic statement at 3 p.m. from the palace said the couple, as well as the Duke of York, would not be invited onto the balcony for Trooping the Color, the spectacular start of her long weekend of commemorations. Just 18 minutes later, the defiant Sussexes finally revealed in a tweet by their friend and journalist Omid Scobie that they will still fly in from California, with Archie, 3 today, and Lilibet, 11 months, for the events to mark the monarch's 70 years on the throne that begin on June 2nd. Earlier in the week, it was also revealed that Harry, 37, will play the rest of the 12-goal polo season at Santa Barbara with his Los Padres teammates. Finding Freedom author Omid Scobie said Harry will participate in the Folded Hills Pope Challenge between May 9-15, Lyle Nixon Cup from May 20-29 as well as the Cheval Athletics USPA Intra Circuit which runs June 3-19. Royal experts have warned that Harry and Meghan's mere presence back in the UK for the Queen's Platinum Jubilee threatens to overshadow the festivities. Harry to return after being reassured over security arrangements Prince Harry's return to the UK for he Jubilee celebrations comes after he was reassured about arrangements for the security of him and his children. Sources recently told the Daily Mail that the Prince appeared mollified at the plans put in place when he and Meghan visited the Queen at Windsor last month. The couple brought over their own private bodyguards from the US but stayed on the Queen's Windsor estate and received a special escort group, SEG, detail when traveling outside. The SEG provides mobile armed protection to both royals and government ministers. This hybrid model is now likely to be offered to Harry, Meghan and children, Archie, 3, and, Lilibet, 10 months, when visiting. It would be funded by taxpayers as the Home Office have made clear that they cannot agree private financial arrangements with anyone receiving Met Police security. Harry, 37, is taking legal action against the Home Office after being stripped of armed police protection. He says he does not feel safe under current security arrangements bringing his family to the UK and has offered to pay for British police bodyguards himself. The Duke's barrister, Shahid Fatima QC, previously told the High Court that Harry considers the UK is and always will be his home and says he is keen to return to visit family and friends, although the Prince this week said in a TV interview that home is in the States. A well-placed source told The Mail, Harry was fairly pleased with the way the operation worked, when he and Meghan came to Windsor, and the liaison between his security team and the Met. He believes it means a workable solution can be found, allowing him to come over with his children as early as the Platinum Jubilee. The source said they believed Harry would now row back from his legal action. That is all for today news, please make sure to leave your comment and subscribe the channel below for more news update. Thank you for watching.